was building in the vapor space, Mr. McLeod? Yes, sir. The staff has been meeting with the local agencies that are interested in occupying space that is currently available in the Lila Ellis Building and Resources Training Center. The local agencies that are interested include Lounge Associated Ministries of People, Lounge, Cash Prosperity Campaign, also known as CASH, Lounge Area Crisis Care, also known as LACC, and the National Council of Negro Women Incorporated, also known as NCNW. The staff has been able to determine the amount of space that each agency is interested in occupying and has also been able to provide each agency with a cost associated with said space. The cost to the agency covers for facility maintenance items which include one facility's maintenance employee and associated cost, contractual services which include monthly trash pickup, monthly HVAC contract, monthly pest control, fire extinguisher alarm service, janitorial supplies, small tools, monthly utilities, facilities, and repair. The cost for the space is figured by determining the total cost for the facility as a, as a whole and then figuring the amount of space for each agency using percentages. The space that each agency is interested in and the cost is listed below. Uh, LAMP, they're interested in 1,201 square feet uh, if you look at your map, the lamp used to occupy this entire space. Uh, they have restructured and now they're only going to occupy two offices in this area, plus the pantry and the resource training center. Uh, their total cost would be $350.29 a month. Uh, cash Prosperities. They are interested in 2,096 square feet for a total cost of 611 dollars uh, Lounge Associated, Lounge Area Crisis Care, uh, they came to us and was interested in the same space that Cash Prosperity was interested in. And their square footage is 2,096 and it's 611 dollars uh, NCNW, they were interested in 2,152 square feet, the monthly cost of 627.67. Uh, staff attached in your booklets a proposal and the drawing showing the space of each agency is interested in for your review. Uh, Cash and LACC is interested in the same space. Uh, we've met with each agency and there is a possibility that they could share the space or some space that's left over in any of the building. Um, and I believe what we're going to ask for y'all to do is to allow us to negotiate further uh, with each agency um, at that price uh, to come up with an agreement. Do you have any questions? Yes, Mr. Chairman, if I'm not mistaken, during the budget season, uh, there were no fees. I guess prior to this year, regarding the living building or after that trip? There had been discussion with the LAMP and with the um, uh, agency, the Coalition, Coalition in Homelessness, in homelessness and uh, they had been billed, but funds had not been received by the county. And you're correct, Commissioner, during the budget process, uh, it was discussed that staff take the necessary steps to begin receiving the money for those uh, for the service rendered there by the use of this space and as Chad has pointed out what we are asking is for an acceptance by the board not necessarily of the space requirement but of the anticipated cost per square foot that he has established and to negotiate with the respective agencies determine the utilization of that space. I guess I was wanting to know also, um, how does a, say, any organization off the street that comes in the line to be able to rent the space? They would make a request to the county commissioners. Um, it, I guess it's probably been eight years, is that right, Terry, that you've been located over there? We've been over six. Six. Um, cash uh, prosperity 
began uh, utilizing that space because they discussed it with representatives of LAMP, and LAMP had given them authority to use that space. So, uh, but under normal steps, any agency would come before the county with a request and it'd be submitted to the commissioners. Okay. We also have two of the interested people here, LAMP and one with Cash Prosperity. So only, only two that exist in the building is currently is LAMP and catch prosperity and, and basically yeah and the whole yeah, the whole coalition. and but unless based on the space the available space unless we have part of these groups that are willing to work with and share space then we really don't have the square footage to serve all of these people that's very right. well, i'm kind of like commissioner Marshall on this, are, are we going to set up some remote guidelines or if you're a nonprofit, you're eligible to go in there or what, what is best utilized as far as servicing the, the clientele that would be drawn to that area um, to get the most services closest uh, to the population that needs those services? The, the service that uh, is useful or I mean, that, that space is is allowed to be rented based on a service they provide that the county itself could provide. You can't just lease it to a private business. Okay. So everything's a not-for-profit agency that's, that's being in Okay. Any other questions? These one-year uh, one leases um, are we going to handle like we do contracts? We should have multiple years, but as we renew annually, is that how we're going to handle that? That'd be my suggestion. And will that lease, does that require action from this board? It will. What is the cash prosperity? I, some of these organizations I don't know about. I guess that's what I'm saying. Mr. Terry, is campaign that stands for communities achieving standards for higher living and one of our main programs we partner with the internal revenue service we provide free income tax preparation for the community we also provide free housing counseling through dca um, and we are processors for the home safe georgia program to help current homeowners avoid mortgage default so it's more financial nonprofit. yes we teach money smart classes financial literacy classes all free for the community any other questions Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Um, Mr. Preacher, I probably need to explain to you the entire building issue for the entire building issue, the plan 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 for the entire building issue, the uh, the south wing of the building. On the north wing of the building, uh, using 5,438 square feet is the Southeast Health Clinic. Okay, and just to the north of this area that we're discussing now, 1,295 feet is being used by the Homeless Coalition. Uh, and then we have 2,013 square feet of just the common area, which includes uh, restrooms, hallways, uh, the front waiting area, and also on large company room. And I'll have this uh, for you to review as well. Would you be looking at at least beginning of January to December or from June 30th to July 1st? I would assume as soon as we could so work we could out details. Soup kitchen is also located on that side too. That's correct. It's a separate building to the northeast of this building, uh, the soup kitchen, and also the resource training center, which was uh, part of what LAMP and NCNW was looking at, is just to the south of this 
the Lee Lellis Social Services building. It's the uh, used to be the old library. Any other questions? I just share with the In the past, did we just write it off for for tax purposes or what have you versus charging? Well, that's basically what we've ended up doing at this point is that we had to say to some of these folks that have not uh, been paying anything, which they were required to pay, uh, that, okay, we'll clear everything out, start fresh, and start all over and new uh, in this facility and work through some new lease agreements the use of the space, which is reasonable. Yes, yes. I believe the cost uh, per month is 29 cents a square foot per month, and that's overall for every square foot, including this health clinic and the homeless coalition. First, Mr. Chairman, are we recouping any of the uh, back rent that? that has been paid if we tried to, to come to some settlement with these organizations that haven't paid us? There has been those discussions, um, and of course these discussions, I mean these groups, as you can imagine, most all of them work on very, very fine line. So there, are, there, there basically is no revenue to recover from you know, those the back payments you might say back years. Going from this point forward, uh, is there a policy in place that if an uh, organization gets 30 days, 60 days, or whatever uh, your department deems or finance deems um, appropriate, that we would start eviction notices or, or do something to try to recuperate the costs so we don't continue just letting people violate their lease and not pay their rent? Help, Mr. Commissioner, that would be established in the lease agreement as to terms. Was that in the former lease agreement? We don't, we did not have an agreement on it. Yeah, the intent is to basically get this cleaned up, get it right. in a different direction and move forward so that these folks will have a place uh, to provide these services for the community, but at the same time, um, from a citizen standpoint, we're able to recoup the cost of just maintaining that facility from a maintenance standpoint. Not making anything on it or anything like that. So just trying to maintain the building, take care of the services that's shared by everybody, um, and then uh, and then there again, just a fresh slate and move forward. And break even, basically. That's it. That's all we're doing. That's all. Any other questions? Okay. Thank you, Mr. Clark.